What is a BAPI in SAP ABAP? Answer. BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. It is a set of interfaces that allow third party applications to communicate with SAP systems. It provides a standardized way for external programs to access business process and data in SAP. Explain the difference between a function module and a remote function call in SAP ABAP. Answer. A function module is a subroutine that performs a specific task and can be called within the same system. RFC on the other hand allows communication between different SAP systems or external programs. RFC enables the excursion of function modules in remote systems. Explain the concept of BADI in SAP ABAP. Answer. BADI stands for Business Ad. It is a machinium in SAP ABAP that allows developers to add additional functionality to standard SAP programs without modifying the original source code. It enables the implementation of custom enhancements to standard SAP process. What is the purpose of SAP memory and ABAP memory in SAP ABAP? Answer. SAP memory is used for storing section specific data while ABAP memory is used for storing global data that can be accessed across sessions. SAP memory is limited to a single session whereas ABAP memory is shared among different sections. How do you handle error in SAP ABAP? Explain the difference between sites sub RC and sites sub RC in SAP ABAP. Sites sub RC is a system field that indicates the result of the last executed statement. A value of 0 indicates success, while a non zero value indicates an error. ABAP programs often use this field to check for errors and take appropriate actions in the program. What is the significance of the comment and rollback statement in SAP ABAP? Answer. Comment and rollback are used to manage database transitions in SAP ABAP. Comment saves the changes made during a transaction while rollback receives the changes and restores the data to its state before the transaction started. Explain the purpose of SAP Smart Forms and SAP Adobe Forms in SAP ABAP. Answer. SAP Smart Forms and SAP Adobe Forms are tools for designing and creating print layouts in SAP. They allow the generation of sophisticated and customizable print layout for various business documents. What is object oriented ABAP? How does it differ from produced ABAP? Answer. Object oriented ABAP is an approach that uses object classes and methods for programming. It promotes code, reachability, NCAP solution and inheritance produced ABAP. On the other hand follows a more traditional produced programming style. Explain the concept of SAP Enhancement Framework in SAP ABAP. Answer. The Enhancement Framework in SAP ABAP allows developers to add custom functionality to standard SAP programs without modifying the original code. It provides a structured way to enhance SAP application using enhancements, modification and kernel bypasses. What is the purpose of the SAP ALV? ABAP list viewers in SAP ABAP programming. Answer. SAP ALV simplifies the display of complex list and tables in ABAP programs. It provides a set of ready to use functions and objects to interactive list display with features like stuttering, filtering and subtotaling. 
How can you optimize performance in SAP ABAP programs? Answer. Performance optimization in SAP ABAP involves various technicians such as avoiding nested select statements, using suitable index optimizing database queries and minimizing database access within loops, proper use of internal tables and buffering machines also contributed to performance improvement. What is the significance of the SAP log concept in SAP ABAP? Answer. The SAP log concept is crucial for managing concurrent access to data. It prevents multiple users from simultaneously modifying the same data, ensuring data consistency and integrity. Log objects and statements like enquiry and dequery are used to implement the SAP log concept. Explain the difference between select single and select up to one in SAP ABAP. Answer. Both select single and select up to retrieve a single record, but select up to one can retrieve the first matching record from an internal table while selecting single retrieve data directly from the database. What are the different types of internal tables in SAP ABAP? Answer. SAP ABAP supports three types of internal tables. Standard, diffute, stored and hashed standard tables allow both inner and winner searches. Stored tables are always stored and can only be accessed using winner search. And hashed table use as a hash algorithm for direct access. Explain the use of the singleton design pattern in SAP ABAP. Answer. The singleton design pattern ensures that a class has only one instance and provides a global point of access to that instance. In SAP ABAP, this pattern is useful when you want to control the instantiation of a class and ensure that only one instant exists throughout the application. How can you implement expection handling in SAP ABAP using try, catch and cleanup blocks? Answer. Try, catch and cleanup blocks are used for structured expectation handling in SAP ABAP. The try blocks contains the code that might raise an expectation the catch blocks. Specifies the action to be taken when an expectation occurs. And the cleanup blocks includes cleanup code that executes regardless of whether an expectation occurred. What is the purpose of the SAP NetViewer Gateway in SAP ABAP? Answer. SAP NetViewer Gateway enables the creation of OData service to export SAP functionality as RESTful web service. It Facilities seamless integration with other systems and allows easily conceptation of SAP data by external applications. Explain the use of shared memory in SAP ABAP. Answer Shared memory is a machinium for sharing data between different SAP work processes. It allows affinity communication and data exchange between parallel process enhancing performance in scenarios where multiple process need to access the same data. What is the role of the WebDenPro ABAP framework in SAP development? Answer. WebDenPro ABAP is a framework for developing web-based user interfaces in SAP. It enables the creation of interactive and user-friendly web application with features like drag and drop UI elements, automatic data binding and enhanced navigation capabilities. Thank you for watching this video.